Grade 4 Math, number 120, Patterns in Measurement Units. We can find patterns in measurement units, and it'll help us convert one number to another. Number pairs can show a relationship between two units. What can we think of that is grouped into sevens? What could we name these columns? It says one of something is seven of another. If we have two of them, then we have 14 of these things. If we have three of them, we have 21 of them. What can you think of that is grouped into sevens? Did you think seven days in a week? If you did, you're right. So these would be days, and this would be weeks. One week is seven days. Two weeks is 14 days. See how the number pairs? have a relation. Seven weeks is 49 days because seven times seven is 49. See that? So can we do some other ones? Let's see if you can get this one. What two units of time could this be? What could we have one of that would be equal to 24 over time? If you said hours, then you're right. This would be hours and this would be days. One day is 24 hours. Two days is 48 hours. See? Can you think of what two units of time this could be? One is 60. Two of them would be 120. What unit, two units of time would fit into here? Can you think of something? Actually, there's two of them. If you said that this is hours and this is minutes, you'd be right. But we also could have said that this is minutes and this is seconds, right? It could have been either one of these, right? Because one minute is 60 seconds. So it could have been either one of those increments, right? All right. Well, what about two units of measure? What two units of measure could we put for these labels up here, for these columns? One of them is equal to 12. So what measurement would be one that would be equal to 12? Can you think of anything? If you said one foot is 12 inches, you were right. So this is feet, and this is inches. See? One foot is 12 inches, two feet is 24 inches, and it goes down the chart. See? All right. This is going to be a little trickier. What metric unit could this be? One is equal to 10. Two is equal to 20. Can you think of anything? Well, there's a reason I've got a star here. Because the metric system is based all on increments of 10, Many metric units can fit into that chart. 1 is equal to 10, 2 is equal to 20, or 1 is equal to 100, or 1 is equal to 1,000, because the metric system is based off of groups of 10. This could be 1 meter is equal to 10 decimeters. It could be 1 decimeter is equal to 10 centimeters. It could be 1 centimeter is equal to 10 millimeters because the metric system is based off of groups of 10. See? One day is 24 hours, one week is seven days, one year is 52 weeks, one foot is 12 inches, three feet is a yard, one meter is 10 decimeters, one decimeter is 10 centimeters, and one centimeter is 10 millimeters. See? So for this one, for the metric one, we could have put many answers inside of there. That's the way the metric system works. So when you're working with measurement units, patterns can help you. Okay? We're going to keep talking about math. We're going to be getting into some algebra soon. Stick with me. 
keep up the good work, and I'll see you next video. Bye!